Hey, I'm Aston, and today I'm chatting with Milky. I started singing when I was really, really young and dancing as well. Both of my parents were musical and, and artistic. And one person told me that if I wanted to be an artist, I'm going to have to write my own songs. So I started writing and then I found these songs that you're hearing today. So I wrote Firebomb at the end of last year after having a really, really messy, messy breakup. And it was quite ironic how I equally hated him as much as I loved him. So I hadn't written anything about it and I was on the way to get Thai food in my car and came up with the first line of Firebomb. I'd been playing with it for a couple of months and didn't feel like I could finish what I wanted to say and finally I worked with an incredible producer called Steve Rush and he asked me if I had any ideas and I played Firebomb on the piano and he was like that's the song and he produced it in five minutes and there, there we go. <laughs> the main message that I wanted to share about Firebomb is this sort of toxic relationship that you can be in and how it can feel really unnatural and confusing at times and that it's okay to sort of love the person that is treating you bad and that's that's not a bad thing at all um, but yeah I just wanted to highlight what it was like to be in a narcissistic relationship so maybe someone can see it and be like oh my god that's exactly how I feel um, I I was in the car in LA when I was in this relationship and I was listening to Banks, um, her third album, uh, which had like Contaminated and, and Stroke and Gimme. And that whole album really woke me up to what was happening in that said relationship. So I just wanted to provide art and content that would potentially have the same impact as Banks' album had on me. I really created the sounds of Aston through experiences and I found those sounds by literally just expressing my attitudes and feelings. So there's a lot of aggressiveness and dominance and power. In Firebomb there's quite a lot of like rock, grit, rusty elements to it and that just really explained how I was feeling in musical form. For the rest of the year I have an awesome EP project planned and then I'm in the middle of writing my second project which I'm really really excited about and it sort of stems from Firebomb so you're gonna see a little bit of you know trickling themes running into the next project. They're coming up very soon. I just, there's no dates as per yet, but keep an eye out. Lots of movement, uh, a real story, and me getting on my knees. <laughs> Rihanna. Oh, Doja Cat. The first album I ever bought was 
A Girl Like Me, which was like her first like sort of reggae album. Probably Banks' third album. Oh my God, Rihanna. <laughs> Can I just say her for every question? Kill Bill 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Both. Nao. Nao for sure. Yeah. Rihanna. Bad bitch. Oh, old French music. From the 60s. The weekend. Just keep going. Keep swimming. Ah, uh, the first time I got up on stage. For sure.